Alright, are we ready for two through there? Ready. Let's do this. I guess we're a serious perspective. Spectators, are you ready? Um, yes. Or, or spectator, I guess. Where is Yuri? She was napping. No way, get her out here! Oh, no need. It looks like here she comes. Sorry, I'm here. Are we doing truth or dare? Yep. There's only one rule. I am the judge and I can veto any truth or any dare. Especially ones that I disapprove of in Zimzi's girlfriend. How do we want to do care when it was first? Flip a coin? Sure. Okay, call it. Tails. Heads. Monsky, do you want to go first or make MC go first? He definitely has to ask me first. All right, MC, go ahead. Truth or dare, Natsuki? Let's ease into it and start with the truth. All right. Do you have a girl crush on Yuri? All right for the throw. Good question. <laughs> Define girl crush. Oh, she's taking refuge in definitions. Urban Dictionary says a girl crush is a normally straight girl's crush on another girl. Often a celebrity. It's mostly platonic in nature. Well, that's not too bad, I guess. That's not the definition I'm going to use. As a normally straight girl, do you have a girl crush on Yuri that is at all non-platonic in nature, even a little bit? Even a little bit? Like the tiniest, smallest, most minuscule amount? Yep. Th then yes, the tiniest bit. Uh, okay, so I just like you talk about that. It's not Eastern to ask. Truth or dare, MC? I'll also ease into things with the truth. Get it, Natsuki. Although I don't expect this question to be easy after going so hard on Natsuki and Ranma. No, I will be merciful as a demonstration of my benevolence. Let's see. I think I'll go with a classic boy question for truth or dare. Boxers or briefs? Natsuki immediately looks at Sayori. Ah, and I see from Sayori's reaction that she already knows. Good information to have. My secret plan to get the truth I was really after has already succeeded. Hey, that's not fair! Honestly, she knows since- or she's known since we were kids. She's seen me doing laundry and stuff. So you can't prove how she knows. Hmm, true. Anyway, what's your answer? Boxers. They're nice and roomy. I can see that. I'd probably wear boxers if I were a guy. Alright, your turn. Truth or dare? Let's spice it up with a dare. Hmm. I dare you honestly answer a viewer email which Monica screened out for from showing us. Oh man, that's harsh. Really? They're not that bad, are they? Well, I'll pick one at random, but they range from kind of offensive to pretty terrible. Oh, just slamming all the viewers who know their emails didn't get read, huh? So you're rolling the dice a little bit. I think I can pull it up on my phone. Hang on. Ah, huh, here we go. And... Natsuki, carpet match drapes? Just, uh, remember that in addition to destroying them, you actually have to answer the question honestly. The question is poorly worded and vague. What drapes are they talking about? It's unclear. So, um, I think it's pretty clear what they mean. Ugh, fine, you pervs. Look, bunny, my hair is pink. My eyebrows are pink. You can probably figure out the pattern. Ugh, good enough. Dare satisfied. Dare satisfied. Sorry, I wasn't expecting it to be quick. That in intrusive. Do you get a lot of emails like that, Monica? Mm, definitely at least a few each week. I just ignore them. I don't mind if they ask a slightly risque stuff if they're polite and respectful about it. But if they go overboard or if they're jerks in the way they ask, they just get trash canned. And when we answer emails during meetings, I would never show a borderline email without clearing it with the club member first. Right, but this isn't a club meeting and this is truth or dare. And now it's not to be Truth or dare, MC? You gonna stick with dares or chicken out and stay on truths? I wanna stick with truth for now. Oh, right, but I'm judging you so hard right now. Truth, if you had to make the player's choice and pick me or Yuri to be your girlfriend, who would you pick? Whoa, no, uh, no way! That question is potentially hurtful! I'm gonna veto it! I wouldn't be offended if you chose Natsuki. Yeah, and I wouldn't take it hard if you chose Yuri either. I think it's fine. No, I am the judge and I veto it! Just because you guys are saying that doesn't mean you won't be hurt a little, at least! And I'm his girlfriend, and I am not included as a choice, and that's another reason to veto it. Well, he'd always pick you if you were available as a choice, silly. 
But anyway, I am seeing. I guess you have to pick truth or dare again. The judge has spoken. Don't forget, I will totally adjust how good a person I think you are based on your choice. There. That's what I like to hear. I dare you to touch the wreath butt in front of everyone. Oh, oh. Is, is that all? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and she calmly strides over places to stand his hand flat on Seahorse's butt. Yeep. Confidently executed, MC. I have to give you credit. I was hoping for more shyness and blushing, but I appreciate the smooth approach also. Thanks. I was um, a lot more nervous than I tried to give off. So last one for you. Truth or dare? Eh, let's finish strong with a dare. Hmm. Actually, or I'm actually out of good ideas. I only had the one email idea for dares going into this. Let me see. Ah, got an idea. Let's see. Gets a piece of paper and starts writing something on it from somewhere. Yeah, that's a nuts game. You have to read what is written on that piece of paper aloud and enthusiastically without any sarcasm. Natsuki reads the paper. You're a monster! I expect a wholehearted performance. Natsuki takes a deep breath. Hi everyone, it's the wine girl Natsuki here. Aren't I just super duper cute? I may be kind of gruff at first, but don't worry, I'm sweet and lovable underneath. And I have mentioned that I'm ultra cute! But, but don't think that just because I've been talking to you means that I like you or anything, Baka! <laughs> there, done! Sarah, Monica, and Yuri have all stood up and are applauding and cheering. You horrible bastard! Now, truth or dare? Well, I'm kind of scared how, of how you'd escalate from the butt padding if I let you do a dare on me, so, truth. Oh, you think I can't be cruel with a truth also? Tell me, MC. Have you and Siri done it yet? That's vague. Done what? Oh, now it's MC who's trying to use definitions to hide. Um, yeah, the question's clear enough, MC, and you should answer it as is. I command it! Th then no, we have not. Damn, but you've done something. I should have asked what base- or what base- what, what? I should have asked what base you guys were at. Instead, I got greedy and went straight for home run. If I only had one more question. Well, everyone, that's all the time we have every day. Thanks for playing Truth or Dare. Bye! Wait, hang on. What if... Nope, bye! Truth or Dare is a scary game. Yuri, let's hang out with her. Fascinating. Hmm. Game's on your right now. Notice this requested. Oh, oh hello. Oh, wait. Hold up. It said game's on you right now, didn't it? Game's on you right now, okay. I said you're right, you stupid. Mary notices a few of the crayons of visitors glancing at her. She gets out her phone, points it at herself, and starts talking in a much softer voice. Welcome back. Thanks for following my channel, and today we're going to be taking an educational trip to the aquarium, everyone. The few people paying attention to her roll their eyes and go back to what they were doing. Sorry about that. It's tricky to talk to you in a public place like this, but we'll be coming alarmed. But I really did want to take a trip around the aquarium with you. Everyone else in the club just takes passing glances at everything and doesn't want to learn anything. Which is fair since it's summer, I guess. But I wanted to spend some time seriously engaging with the exhibits and talking about them with someone. And Monica said she wouldn't mind if I spent some time with you, so... yeah. Yuri again looks side to side to gauge how far away she is from our other guests. What we have here is an oarfish, specifically Regalicus glasny. I have no idea if I said that correctly. Most people find oarfish a bit ugly, but I think they are wonderfully beautiful creatures. Are you going to post a picture of it so I can see too, or are you just going to keep talking about it? Nope. Because they're not seen much in the wild because they tend to stay at medium shallow depth. That's because that's where their usual prey, shrimp and krill and small squid are usually found. Usually usual. They're fascinating to watch here in the aquarium, though. They look a bit like long, fluttering ribbons waving in the wind. The info plaque here says that they're actually the longest bony fish in the world. Here he heads over to another exhibit. I know, look at this. The tank is full of tiny little creatures, an inch or two long, flashing lights of various colors along with little strips on their bodies. They're so beautiful. The tank says that they're called comb jellyfish. This one specifically is Barrow Abyssicola. It looks like they move by fluttering these little comb structures along their bodies. I guess that's why they're called comb jellies. I wonder what they use these rainbow lights for. Maybe attraction or something? Ah, uh, it says they don't actually produce the rainbow light. Their combs just reflect or refract like a... Uh, words. Their 
combs just refract light like a prism. How interesting. Oh, and it says they mostly eat jellyfish and other soft, slow-moving prey, including each other. Some other ones often prey are predated on larger ones by just floating up and taking a huge bite out of the bigger one. That's freaky. How brutal. Ah, oh, coral. Here you spend some time staring at the coral formations. I love coral. It's beautiful, of course. But the way it takes decades just to add an inch or two of coral, it grows so carefully and painstakingly. It makes it feel very delicate and precarious, or precious. I try to say precarious. And we treat it so awfully. Sometimes I worry that by the time I get old, coral will be almost extinct. Oh, which is especially sad since coral is so important as an environment for other sea life to live in. Hmm. So sorry, I get easily troubled by things like this. Humans have been given such gifts, and we treat for life so cruelly. Sometimes it's hard not to detest one's own species. Anyway, humans made this aquarium, and many of them were working to fix problems like that, so I guess they can't all be bad. Come on. Let's move on to the next spot. Wow. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Those are tiger sharks. Galeocerdo Cuvier. And over there are some butterfish. Synopsis Anomala. And, and. A giant manta ray glades slowly above the aquarium tunnel. Here he stops listing off scientific names for the animals and seems lost in some kind of aquatic reverie. Her eyes are watering. This, this is so amazing. The sea is so wonderful. Mm. The sea is everything. It covers seven tenths of the terrestrial globe. Its breath is pure and healthy. It is an immense desert where man is never lonely, where he feels life story on all sides. The sea is only the embodiment of a supernatural and wonderful existence. It's nothing but love and emotion. And it is a supreme tranquility that sea does not belong to despots. Upon its surface, men can still exercise unjust laws, fight, tear one another tear to pieces, and be carried away with terrestrial honor or horrors. But at thirty feet below its level, the rain ceases, their influence is quenched, and their power disappears. Until, like, a ship wrecks and f floods the ocean with oil or some other disastrous substance. You know how it is. Ah, sir. L live. Live in the bosom of the waters. Their only is independence. There I recognize no masters. There I am free. Yuri closes her Yuri closes her eyes and stays silent for about a full minute, she said to herself for some reason. A speech from Captain Nemo in twenty thousand leagues under the sea. Yuri wipes her eyes. The sea really is quite wonderful. Maybe I should have waited to answer that emailer who asked me about what I wanted to do when I grow up. This all makes me want to do something related to the ocean. Like be a marine biologist, or a diver, or an ecologist, or something like that. Something where I could immerse myself in, in all this wonder. Plus, if I had to do diving for my job, people would probably find my interest in dives less weird. Oh, just play Subnautica, you'll get a feel for whether you'd like it or not. Hmm. So sorry, I got lost in my own thoughts there for a second. The, um, the manta rays, Pobula Berostris. They graze on plankton, and they sort of swim circularly around the herd of the plankton to, around to herd the plankton into a tight space before eating it. They're so large that they accumulate lots of parasites and accumulated dead skin and touch. Such. Why can't I read today? So when they need it, they head to a coral reef and let cleaner fish species who live there be able to eat or come up to them and hit with the parasites and lose skin off them. That's how they stay clean and healthy. It's a symbiotic relationship. Though this one is moving very slowly and gently right now, they can actually move extremely fast if they need to, about 50 miles per hour. They need to be able to move that fast in order to escape from sharks, or their only natural predators. But mostly sharks have a hard time catching this ray, although most rays do end up with scars from a shark bite or two on them. Unfortunately, humans have done what sharks cannot, and have pushed this ray into potential danger by killing many of them. Usually it happens because they are a bycatch of fishing for other species. But also, they are targeted because people believe their gills have uses in folk medicine. And, of course, people are also making it hard for the ray to find coral reefs to clean off at. Hmm. Well, as much as I'd love to just stand here all day, I'll never see the rest of the aquarium if I do that. Plus, I'm getting kind of hungry. I hear that there's a restaurant in here that is also in an underwater tunnel. I'm going to go see if I can find it. 
You're quite welcome to come with me if you want. Uh, not that you have any agency in the matter, of course. Yes, I am at the mercy of the script. And the special today is our ethically sourced chili and sea bass dressed with our signature lime sauce. That sounds lovely, I'll order that. Is this your summer job, teacher? Yes, it certainly is. Sure thing, and I can, can I get you something to drink? Oh, um, just water is fine. I'll have this right out for you. Thank you. Hey, um, I got a table far away from everyone else so I could speak freely. I just wanted to say, thanks for coming along with me today. I know I can be a little pedantic and boring sometimes. But it's nice to have someone to talk to about all this academic stuff. The club mostly isn't interested, rather than Monica sometimes. Hopefully you weren't too bored. I would offer to get you something to eat if it weren't impossible. Although, maybe it's a good thing you can't, given the prices here. But it's important to treat yourself when you can. I guess you can at least enjoy the sights here with me. Such as they appear to you, at least. Hmm. Even though it's expensive, it's really nice to sit here and enjoy a meal surrounded by something so incredible. It's pretty cool that they managed to make this place. It must have been very difficult. Well, I don't know how long you're probably going to stick around, but thank you again for spending some time with me. If you happen to see Monica, make sure you take good care of her. You're very important to her. I'm sure I'll see you around at the various other things the club is doing. I'll probably have lots of loud fun and be really goofy. It's fun to do that, but I also really enjoy it when I can be serious and focus on something. Plus, I recharge my batteries by being alone. Or sort of alone, I guess. So thanks again for coming with me on my little introvert self-care trip. I'll see you soon, I hope. Ah, oh, food's coming. Your food is here, miss. Guys, there's only one scene left. Unless something unlocks after this, and I don't see why it would. So it's Monica! Let's go. Hey there, Hallie. Oh, I clicked out. Well, I was just walking around to get some exercise. And incidentally, doing some window shopping, since the mall here is one of the best places to walk around vigorously without getting sunburned. I actually don't like walking much as a form of exercise. It's kind of boring. Same with treadmills and stationary bikes. I'm really not a fan of those. Normally I don't like to exercise at all while I'm competing against someone else. Volleyball is nice, although there's a lot of downtime where you're not moving that much. Fencing, on the other hand, now that's good cardio. Plus it's quite good for your leg muscles. But yeah, it's nice to exercise while your mind is focused on strategizing. That way you're not just focused on how tired you it is. That's Monica's exercise tip of the day. Anyway, I could use a break from walking. Maybe I'll actually shop. I wonder where I should look. Any ideas? Oh, so many. We'll start with ice cream. Ooh, ice cream. I'm going to get mint chocolate chip. That's not my super favorite, but I'm definitely in the mood for it now. And all done. That was delicious. Good call. Well, back to walking, I think. I'm going to head back to our bungalow. I'll see you over there, maybe. I hope so. I've kind of wanted to talk to you about everything that happened this semester. Just those few lines of dialogue for that entire option? Well, you know what? Since they're so short, I think I'm gonna head back to the menu and try to get more of them. <laughs> yes. We're gonna lose the unsaved progress. It's all gone. Um, can I just load up that menu again? I can't. Visit Monica. I was dissatisfied by that ice cream option. We might need to get back to it though. I could just click skip, couldn't I? Yeah, I could. We're here now, so it's fine. Save. Save right there. Return. Ice cream was disappointing. Let's go to the fashion boutique. Hmm, I guess I could use some new clothes. Oh, eh. Why am I not in here? Or maybe you're hoping to have me try a swimsuit. <laughs> Let's see what they have here. And all done. They're all super short. We're gonna load it up again. Yes, we are. Go to the general store. Actually, I think the same store is the one where I got my pen. You know, the hard pen I always have. Maybe I should get that or get a backup just in case. That pen ended up being really symbolically important to me. That was the best one yet. We're still really short. So we're gonna do the last one too. Yes. I'm not dragging this up. I promise you. This is the literature club, I guess. I don't read nearly as much as I should. Maybe I can find something interesting browsing around. 
We're interesting browsing around. And all done! The correct answer was number three, where she gets the pen. I found a neat science book. It's called The Emperor of All Maladies, and it's sort of a history of cancer, it sounds like. Weird topic, maybe, but I was hooked thumbing through it, so I had to pick it up. Well, back to walking, I think. Oh, I guess there was other stuff we could have seen. You know what? I'm not going back for it. We're going to, we're going to the bundle wall. You know what the other stuff? You blow much of still. It's evening, and Monica appears to be depressed. Hey, Sayori. Why don't you come here for a minute? <laughs> hey, you guys want to come watch TV together? Yeah. I'm in. I guess I've made enough progress on this. I'll watch for a little while, but only one show. So I'm here to do something else. All right, all right. The rest of the club seems to be having a good time, but Monica seems removed and melancholy. Oh, there you are. I was wondering if you were ever going to come back. Did you go anywhere else between the mall and here? No. Straight here. If it was lingering here while I could hear the others. I mean, this is technically true. That's strange. I wonder why the game showed you that. I can never predict what it's going to do. Next time I ought to just pull the game to me when I'm ready to talk to you. You can do that? But I try not to do that too much. Feels too much like an abuse of power. But anyway, you're here now. I've had a pretty fun afternoon. I've been reading through that book on cancer that I got. Man, cancer is complicated. And it seems like trying to cure it is much more difficult than I thought it might be. Hopefully this book doesn't get too depressing. <laughs> Actually, while you're here, do you mind if we talk about some stuff? In particular, I wanted to hear your thoughts on everything that happened this past semester. What do you want to talk about? That's a lot! 